Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make these little mini purse slash treat holders. It is one pattern and you're going to get two different looks. Okay, this one I made for Valentine's Day and here is one of the first ones that I made. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Put this aside. We're going to start with a five and a half by eight sheet of designer series paper and I'm using the Delicate Dots from Stampin' Up! And this month and next month, it is free with every $50 you purchase. Um, the five and a half inch side, we are going to score at one and four and a half. Line that up. Flip it to your eight inch side and you're going to score at three and a half and at four and a half. Okay. Then you're going to fold your little score lines and crease those really good. And now with your bone folder. Now you're going to take your snips and each side you're going to see a little tab. I don't know if you can see that. You're going to see a little tab and you're just going to cut on each line until you get to the first score line. Just like that. Okay, now you sh it should look like this. Okay, now you're going to take your red sticky strip. There. And a little strip there. Okay. Then you're going to take your snail, and I just put a little bit here, in there, and on your tabs, just like that. Now fold your tab into the flap right above, like that. Okay. Then you can fold up this flap, just like that, and to the other side. Okay, and I like to take my bone folder just to give it a little press inside on both sides. Okay, so that's your finished little purse or treat holder. Now, at this point, you can just decorate it and just have it a little pur as a little purse with your little embellishments there. I put a little bit of, you know, trim right here. Um, but we're going to do the treat holder. So I am going to take a three and a half by one and a half sheet of Bashful Blue cardstock. I'm going to take my eyelet border punch. I'm going to put this in the middle like that. Give it a punch. Then you're going to line up. I don't know if you can see this, but you're going to line up the little holes right there. Punch it again and then do the other side. And there we go. And that way it just gives it a nice little even on both edges. You have the same look. Okay, then what you're going to do, you're going to put a little snail. Take your little box and pinch right up at the top. Pinch both sides together like that. Okay, then you're going to attach. I'm only decorating the front. I didn't do both sides, but you can if you want to. Okay, and you just squeeze that together. And then you take your crop -a and the larger hole punch is the one you want. And I just, there's no right or wrong. I just go ahead and eyeball it and I just punch a little hole there. 
and then get on that side. Okay, then you're going to take about a 16 inch to 15 inch piece of grow green ribbon. I'm using white. And you're going to run it through. Now I'll probably embarrass myself because I am horrible at tying bows. I usually tie knots. That's about as good as I get. So, let's see. No, I don't like doing it that way. Wait. <laughs> okay, how am I going to do this? There we go. Put this like this. Now, if I get, if this comes out, it's just pure luck, trust me. Okay, I guess that's not too bad. Just a little bit. Both sides. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now what I want to do is I am going to put a little uh, image right here. I'm going to take my one and three quarter inch circle using So Saffron. I'm going to take my Bashful Blue ink and my heart from the Polka Dot Punches stamp set from Stampin' Up. And again, this is another uh, celebration set um, that you can get this month and in March for every $50 you spend. Okay, so I'm going to ink that up, stamp it, use my heart punch. Punch that out. Get my little dimensionals here. Put one there. One there. Just center that. Okay. And then I'm going to just pop that up right in front. Just like that. Okay, and I know this is not finished. I have to have glitter. So, I'm going to take my two-way glue pan, and I'm just going to add a little bit of bling to this. Okay, right in the middle. Oops. Okay, just tap off the extra. Okay, and there we go. Cute little treat holder. And here's another one that I did using the same stamp set and designer series paper. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.